are going to ask about analysis about about this game and the frustration about the the defeat after such a good game against uh, Benfica as well. It was a bit unjust. We did a great game again, just like we did at Dragão. We, sh we should have scored in the 90 minutes and uh, ended the game in a draw, which I think was a, with a more fair result against Arsenal, who scored 13 goals in the last games. A team that would create a lot of difficulties. We represented Portuguese football. Uh, we also represented Porto. It's a shame that all the work that the players done, all the organization, all the tactic, and we had a lot of ambition to, to reach the quarterfinals. And if it was a team that deserved to go through, it would be us. Look at what Porto done, and and Porto didn't give Arsenal anything. Arsenal didn't really have a clear cut chance before the, they scored. How can you transform that frustration? And on either side, I mean, can you also explain at the end what happened between you and Arteta at the end? That's not really important. The frustration. The frustration is quite big. It's difficult. You already know me. There's a lot of a lot of proud. Players are proud. There's frustration and disappointment, and I, I felt like we could off go far in this competition with the players that we have. We have a young team, but always developing. But they they absorb all the work that we put in and all our tactics and all organization as a team. And we see it in these games. The smallest error we're punished. And if, and if we defined a bit better in the 90 minutes, we probably would have scored. And that was our intention. What Arteta said and he didn't say, I think it's best. During the game, uh, in towards the, the bench, he, he in Spanish, I don't know if it's to do with the Spanish managers, he insulted my family. And then at the end, I said, attention, who he insulted is not between us. He should focus on the tra training his team because they have a lot of individual qualities to, to do that. Good evening, Sergio. You've mentioned, obviously, how the, you feel and the place felt after losing. After, after you just done what a lot of teams haven't been able to do, what words do you use to define your team? The words are the, 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 the words I've mentioned already. I think it's unjust, but very proud of my team. A lot of frustration and disappointment for all that. Uh, and knowing it was a very hard task, but possible. A word to all the fans who were there and were showing how big, how big Porto are and how historical they are. The one that has the most presence in the competition and it's just the biggest competition in the world. 120 minutes and penalties, the frustration is going to be harder than when you play Vizela. It's the same. Football is is constantly restarting, and us we have players. We have a, a training room where we have two competitions to fight in. That's the league and the cup. The league is difficult. We're behind. It's difficult. It's not impossible. We're going after the 27 points that are available. And in the cup, in the Portuguese cup, uh, the semi-final against Vitória Guimarães, we'll play two games to obviously get to the final.